This is Andy Pilwell for Boxing News. I'm joined by legendary cutman Stitch Duran here in Dallas. Stitch, I wasn't imagining running into you, so how's life treating you? This is a nice surprise. Uh, it was a nice, as I'm doing another interview and I see Andy and I said, well, I got to cut it short, but I got to talk to my man. But it's always good seeing you, bro. It's, uh, it's nice being here. I got in about an hour before we got here, uh, just in time to iron my shirt and come here. But uh, I'm working with Mike. Uh, Mike Tyson, for those that don't know, so uh, it's going to be a historical night. It's a historical day right now. Stitch, two legends of the sport working together on Fight Night, yourself and Mike Tyson. Um, have you managed to go into any of his camp just to see how he's been training, how he's been looking, obviously, uh, the concern with his age and what have you? What, what have you made if you've been able to see it? You know, I'm, I was a coach before I was a cut man, so I understand the training aspects. And I knew Mike way before he got his tattoos. We used to train in the same gym. So I knew his intensity and style of training then when Mike Tyson was Mike Tyson. Well, uh, me and Amir Abdullah went in there into the gym with uh, saw uh, my man, and I was super impressed. He looks like not much different than he was Mike when he was Mike, you know. Uh, and the condition is what really surprised me. Uh, the movement, he's doing the movement, but Rafael has shown me some videos, and he's also showing him to slow down a little bit and start setting things up and all that. So they've done a great team. The, the whole team, everybody that has worked, Putting this together with Mike, Andy, have done A1, A1 list, and you're talking about you know me working with him. It's a pleasure, man. You know I've known him for all these years, and uh, what a way to end, uh, you know, almost the end of my career is work with Mike Tyson. So sorry about Stitch, there's more, there's more years left in you yet? Oh yeah, no, no, of course not, but, hey, but there's not gonna be another Mike Tyson fight. Good question. I know I kind of, it's not what I meant. Now I feel great, but no, just to work a magnitude fight like this with Mike Tyson is. Uh, Nobody's ever going to do it again. I do want to ask Stitch, and as somebody who's part of a team, do you understand the, the public's concern for Mike because of the age, his time outside of the ring? Do you understand why some people are just concerned for him, want to see him come away from the fight no matter what, with all of his health intact? Well, you know, I'm always looking at worst-case scenarios, Andy. You know my whole trade and, and, and education and, and uh, you know, keeping a fighter safe is always a big concern for me, of course. Not only for Mike, but... Of the other guys but I tell you right now in the shape that he's in right now that's key right now uh, he'll be able to hold his own we obviously saw the workouts yesterday and as you mentioned but you've probably seen him in the gym he's still got that, that same style that we saw that aggressive come forward letting his hands go no just a relentless, relentless style is that all we should expect to see from him come Friday night no that's what I was telling you half a year Cordero done a tremendous job and giving him another style of fighting outside of you don't want to take away that style that mike has because that's mike but now he got made him a lot smarter and not harder and and, and and to combine them both will should result in a victory should result in a victory do you think that he stops jake paul i don't i never predict those you know that i mean you always ask me those questions i don't predict them because i don't know and you don't know you know do, do i care nah i just want a good fight i just want to make sure that they're both safe and and props to jake paul man i Got a lot of respect for that young man. I've done those fights with him and against Logan Paul with KSI, right? Good, good kids, man, and they're doing a great job. I was going to ask, because I remember you, you worked with Anise and Gibb when he fought Jake Paul. I, I don't know if you've followed much of Jake's career since, but have you seen developments and improvements for as long as he's been in boxing from back when you worked with Anise and Gibb? Well, you know, I haven't followed him since then, but <clears throat> I was talking to Amir Abdullah today, and I said I was so impressed with Anson because he came in with no experience. No more, he didn't even know who I was. It was that bad, you know, but he developed into a little Mike Tyson towards the end and with Jake Paul he was just a little bit more than you know he could chew but he made that progression and uh, and how's he doing now good hopefully you know I yeah, wish him doesn't seem to uh, he's got a fight coming up in fact on Misfits but um, yeah I think that's the end of November or so it might be beginning of December I'm not sure I'm a day well he created a, a, a product for himself you know and as long as he stays healthy and bless his heart man so Anson Gibb a lot of respect to you bro Stitch, I also just want to ask you as well, somebody you previously worked with, Tyson Fury, he has his rematch with Alexander Usyk on the horizon just before Christmas. Do you think Tyson can, can right the wrong of the first result? Do you think he'll get one back on Alexander Usyk? Well, you know, I didn't see that fight, to be honest with you. You know, no, I, I stay so busy, but uh, it's anybody's fight. You know, uh, Usyk, I've always liked Usyk because he's technical. You know, and like I always tell people with Tyson Fury, you could teach anybody how to fight a, a, a person, but you can't teach nobody how to fight Tyson Fury because he has no style. But his style is very effective for him, so I don't know. I ain't going to predict it. 
you know. One thing I'm interested to get your thoughts on Stitch, and I don't know if you caught it. Did you watch the, or maybe the highlights of a Timzu and Bakram Murtazalia fight? And the reason why I ask is, during the fight, um, Tim was obviously reaching for a round where he cut his head really bad in the Fundora fight. Uh, some people suggested maybe he was just getting a bit cautious or worrying that it, the wound had opened back up again. Did you see that, and can you understand why, in Tim's scenario, he was concerned that he was going through something similar? I, I didn't see the fight. You know, I mean, like I say, I, like every week I'm doing something, right? And and uh, but I, I was real disappointed in the first fight, and I didn't see this one. But somebody said today that he got knocked down like three, four times, and and to me, you know. But I did mention that you know it, it's a shame because somebody should have told him that it's such important to have a good team, and and that's I think what failed him. Well, listen, Stitcher, appreciate your time and leave you to enjoy the rest. Of your, you're not here in Dallas. Go catch up with the team, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. I was a man. I was a pleasure, my man. I knew this kid when he was young. <laughs>